Welcome to the Vermont Public Access Greeter Program Watercraft Inspection Survey 123 Training. This video will walk through the steps starting with downloading the Survey 123 app through filling out and successfully submitting a watercraft inspection survey. You may find it helpful to follow along with the Survey 123 guide located at the bottom of the Vermont Public Access Greeter webpage. The video you're watching right now is available here and the guide is available down here under Greeter Training Materials. To download the Survey123 app, you will have to first locate the App Store on your iPad or iPhone. If you're not using an iPad or iPhone, you will download Survey123 from Google Play for Android or from the Microsoft Store for Windows. Select the search in the lower right and then type Survey123. Then select the ArcGIS Survey123 and download. Once it has finished downloading, you can click on the green icon to launch the Survey123 app. The first step to using Survey123 is to sign in with ArcGIS Online. After you have entered the username and password we provided, click Sign In. The first time you open the app, you will be asked if you want to allow Survey123 to use your location. You should select Allow while using app. You will also be asked to allow access to the camera. You should select OK. Now you're ready to download the Watercraft Inspection Survey onto the iPad. Click Download Surveys. You should see the Watercraft Inspection Survey at the top, but if not, you can always type in Watercraft Inspection Survey. and then click the download icon on the right hand side. Click on the watercraft inspection survey icon. This page provides a bit more information about the watercraft inspection survey and when you're ready to start an inspection survey, click collect. The first step is to select your inspection station from the drop down at the top. Here a list of all the different greeter stations will pop up and you will be able to select yours from this list. If for some reason your greeter station isn't showing up, just select other at the bottom and you can type in your response, but yours should be here so that you can just click on it. A map will automatically appear with a pin in it where your greeter station is. If you wanna see the map a little bit bigger, you can click on it, but it's really important that you don't move the pin around. If this happens on accident, just make sure you hit this refresh button over on the right hand side and it'll put the pin right back where it's supposed to be. Now that you've set your inspection location, you can get started entering in the surveys for each of the boats coming through. The first step is to enter the date and time. This field will automatically populate with the current date and time, but if you wanted to change these, simply click on them and you can change the date and change the time. Again, there's a refresh button on the right hand side to reset it to the current date and time. If you want to include a photo with your survey, you can either select the camera icon on the left hand side to take a photo, or you can select the file icon on the right hand side and then select photos to go to your camera roll and select a photo that you've already taken. The trash can on the left hand side will delete the photo and the three dots on the right hand side give you some options to rename or rotate your photo if you'd like to do either of those. The next step is to select the watercraft direction, either entering the water or exiting the water, launch or retrieve, and select the corresponding button. Next is to select the watercraft type. There are a bunch of options here. There's also other at the bottom if you want to type in a response that's not included on this list. As you introduce yourself to the boater and explain your role as a greeter, you should ask the boater if they're familiar with aquatic invasive species. You should also ask about the purpose of their trip, fishing, commercial, governmental, and if none of those apply, just select other recreation. Your next question for the boater is what was the last water body they visited? There are a bunch of options on this drop-down list and this list was created from data that was submitted last year and covers about 98% of all the entries from last year. So it's really likely that your last water body visited will appear on this list. 
If not, at the very bottom, there is an other option where you could enter in another water body name, only if it's not included on this list. Otherwise, just select the water body and a bunch of access names will pop up specific to that water body. Either select one of these or you can hit the other button. Here you'll have the option to enter in a different access name or you could enter unknown if the boater was unsure or you could enter private if they were launching from private property or a private access. The next question for the boater is was the watercraft used in the last two weeks? And you'll find the calendar date of 14 days ago here for your reference. Then just select yes or no. The next step is was an inspection performed? So if you select yes, a list will pop up right here of all the different things you may have found during your inspection. You can just check the boxes that are applicable. And at the bottom here, there is an unknown if there was a species that you found that you didn't know how to identify, including a photo up above would be really helpful here. Or you can select other if you found something else that you were able to identify but just wasn't included on this list and you could type that out right here. The next question is, was the watercraft decontaminated? Again, select yes or no. If you found an unknown or invasive species up above and determined that you needed to send us in a sample for further identification, this is where you would indicate if you had sent us something in the mail. So select yes if you'd mailed us something. Otherwise, most of the time, you'll be selecting no for this question. And your final question for the boater is, will they check for aquatic invasive species in the future? And again, select yes or no. At the bottom here, there is a section for comments. If there was any additional information you wanted to include with your survey, you can click here and type something in. You've now reached the end of the survey for your first watercraft. Over on the left-hand side, there's a trash can symbol. If you're just practicing or don't want to submit this survey, this is where you would get rid of the survey so you can start fresh. But most of the time, you'll be selecting the plus sign over on the right-hand side. This is the equivalent to starting a new row on a paper data sheet. So now that we're ready to move on to our next watercraft, we're going to select the plus sign. You'll see here that we have one question that's outlined in red, and this is one that we forgot to complete on the first survey that we just went through. So I forgot to enter in whether the boater was familiar with aquatic invasive species. Let's say they were, and now we can go back down to the bottom. And you'll see we're still on survey one of one, and we can move forward now that we've completed all of the questions. Now that we're on our second survey, you'll see that we don't have to enter in the inspection station that we're at since we already put that information in and we just hit that plus sign to send us to the next row of the data sheet. So now we could enter in all the data for the second boat that came through. And now you can see we have two entries. Let's say we had gotten to the end of the day or we are taking a break for lunch and want to submit all of the surveys we'd collected. This is when we would hit the check mark down on the right hand side. Right now I'm connected to Wi-Fi, so I have the option to send the survey in now. If you're at a boat launch that does have Wi-Fi, you can go ahead and do this, but more likely you won't have any Wi-Fi connection. So your options will look more like this. You'll have continue the survey if you hit the check mark by accident and want to continue to enter information in for this same survey. But if you've reached a stopping point or the end of the day and are ready to submit your surveys, this is when you would click save to outbox. Now you'll see the surveys be completed in the outbox. You can click on this and you'll see them show up right here. And when you have surveys in your outbox, this means that they are saved to the iPad, but they haven't actually been sent to us yet. When you're connected to Wi-Fi, you can click the button in the lower right-hand corner that says Send. This will send all of your surveys into us. If for some reason this doesn't work, just click on the survey, and then click on the check mark in the lower right-hand corner and click the Send Now button.
You'll know your survey has been successfully sent in if it's no longer in the outbox and now it shows up in a sent folder. It's important to note that once you have submitted your data, you won't be able to go back and edit it. By clicking on the data, you're able to view it right here, but if you click this edit and resend button, you'll be prevented from doing so after you edit the survey. A few other things to note, this X in the upper left hand corner will give you some options. You can close and lose changes, you probably won't ever select this option. If you hit the X by accident and want to keep going, that's when you hit continue this survey. Or if you are part way through a survey and you needed to save it and you were going to come back to finish it later, that's when you'd select save in drafts. You'll now see on the home screen that there's a drafts folder that's popped up and you could click on it right here. Select the survey that you had started and keep filling it out. Note that this survey is blank because I hadn't entered any information in when I saved it, but if you had entered partial information, that would be retained for you to keep working on. If you'd like to practice entering in a survey and submitting it, please select the other from the bottom of the list and then type in test survey. That way we can easily locate the practice surveys and take them out of the real data. We've now reached the end of the Watercraft Inspection Survey 123 training. Please see the Vermont DEC Greeter page for our Survey 123 guide and for more information.